my own arm. My work, as you can well imagine, has quite improved since then. Now, that's... <laughs> Uh, that's dedication. Let's get back to Mr. McGee. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But he didn't show up? No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. I see. Does the name Carson ring a bell? Carson? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look! I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Yeah, that sounds great. I'd appreciate it. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Thanks. I'll wait here. Oh, you have such... Beautiful arms! I absolutely must have them. What? No. I'm kind of using them. Hmm. Kind of a little deaf here with that one. Yeah, I know I'm not sticking around here. Let's save it just in case. Sign telling me I can use my gun. Ooh, can I get in there? No. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, what's he doing with blood in there? a waste of one bullet. Damn. That doesn't look too good. It doesn't look good at all. I think I should switch to melee until I've got more ammo at least. Oh dear. Looks like someone's had fun. Um, all right. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, where's the key to this door? Why? Oh, I think he's got it. Ow. Ow. Come on. Are you kidding me? I didn't realize my blood buff would wear well enough. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. No, really? You're Carson? I take it? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Ah, the Kirkpatrick sent me. He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. 
Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in alerts, but that's just the way it is. Uh, I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. Right. Well, oh, the severed arm. <laughs> Would you like a hand? <laughs> oh dear. That doesn't look too good. Not good at all. Poor bastard. Is there anything around here? Um, this looks like he was sleeping here. Get it. Yes. Okay. That's not weird at all. Boop. Oh. Had enough of this crazy town. exciting. Almost got killed. Oh, as they say on this, almost had my final death. Thinking, uh, to speed my healing up a bit, I'll take one of those blood packs. There we go. Um, let's go see kill pack. Yo. What's shaking? I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Uh, what's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I might be interested. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Sounds fun. You've got a deal. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Uh, sounds dangerous. Do you know where I could get a gun or two? Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, trip down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so we don't usually sell guns to anyone. But just tell him all Arthur sent you. We'll set you up, all right? Thank you, Arthur. So, what's this what you Mike guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small-time stuff, mostly. All right, but the pawn shop you said? That's right, Mary Ann Urietta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? I got it. Now, how about that money you owe me for Carson? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks. 
All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Uh, I'll let you know as soon as I find something. All right, I've run out of time, so I best stop it here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.